legit. What is going on in Cincinnati? It seems like everybody and their dog right now wants out of Cincinnati. Trey Hendrickson is the next or is the newest Cincinnati Bengals saying, I want out. I want to be traded. I want out of Cincinnati. Either give me some damn money or I want out. T. Higgins was also rumored to be wanting out of Cincinnati as well. T. Higgins was franchise tagged, but he wants out. With that being said, Trey Henderson, guys, is has two years left on his deal with the Cincinnati Bengals. This year, he's scheduled to make $14.8 million this season and $15.8 million next season. Key word here, no guaranteed money. Trey has no guaranteed money for this year and next year. So he, he, he wants a little bit of guaranteed money in his deal. He sees what Joe Burrow's getting guaranteed money. He sees... Uh, Penny Sewell getting guaranteed teed, teed money. He sees all these people getting guaranteed money. And my man says, I want some guaranteed money. The Cincinnati Bengals have said that they do not plan on moving on from Trey at all. Well, no shit. Trey has been a pro ball player for you every year. He has been a ball or been a Cincinnati Bengal. Trey has been one of the most dominating defensive ends in recent memory for the Cincinnati Bengals. Of course, you're not going to want to move on from him. But if the Bengals were to trade him, let's say some draft day crazy tradeness happens and a team doesn't get their edge rusher, a, a team wants to improve their edge rusher and win right now. Minnesota Vikings come to mind. The Bengals would have a $7.8 million dead cap hit if they were to trade him before June 1st. If they went until after the draft, wait till June, post June 1st, so June 2nd, June 3rd, it's only a $5.2 million cap hit. Now, as I don't see any draft day moves for Trey at all, I don't see somebody presenting the Bengals with a deal that they just cannot live with or live without, I should, I should, should say, there's still a pretty big possibility. Trey is probably valued at what? A second round pick? Maybe late first? Look at a team like the Minnesota Vikings just lost their edge rusher in Daniel Hunter. Daniel Hunter is now a Houston Texan. Speaking of those Houston Texans, look, look at those damn jerseys. Damn, those are sexy. But... I could see potentially the Houston Texans, or sorry, the uh, um, the Minnesota Vikings making a play for Trey. We lost our edge rusher. Let's go ahead and go get your edge rusher. How does a 23rd overall pick sound? If you are a Cincinnati Bengals fan, you would jump at that. Uh, just, uh, get it, baby, right? There'd be no question in my mind that they would not go out and get that damn man or take that, drip, that, that 23rd overall draft pick. It's only a $7 million cap hit, $8 million. Not too shabby. But then I got to thinking. We got to ask the question. Why does everybody want out of Cincinnati all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden are all these starters, not even role players or backups or even vets, right? These are players that are in their prime. Poised to make pretty good money somewhere, right? Why do they want out of Cincinnati all of a sudden? T. Higgins obviously wants a contract. I get it. Trey wants some guaranteed money. I get it. But you know what the biggest issue is in Cincinnati? The biggest issue in Cincinnati is they have been placed up, up, up upon this pedestal, much like the Dallas Cowboys. This is a team that can win a Super Bowl. This is a team that can win the Super Bowl. This is a team that can build a dynasty right now. This is a team that is to the moon, baby. But the Bengals have consistently underperformed year after year after year. I do understand they went to the Super Bowl two years ago, right? 